Hi everyone, very interesting case. So Daffy Omi today, we are on page 27. Chab Zayin of Masachet Baba Kama. As you can see here, I've got a jug of oil. So let's place it on the floor here. We're talking about damages. Say, this you can see this is in the middle of a uh, public area. See, you've got this jug of oil. And within regards to that, someone's walking. Walking over here. And there's contents in it. It could be valuable. And the person is going to walk, as you can see, and trip it and break it. Who's going to have to pay the damages? This is what the Talmud here today in Masechet Baba Kama is relating over. If, say, this jug is going to smash, they call it a cut. Who's going to have to pay the damages? So if I'm walking and I trip it and it breaks, I will not have to pay for the damages uh, at the time because the person, the owner of this, had actually placed it inside the public domain. So, you know, he should be more careful where he puts his things and everything else. But let's just say I'm walking. And the, as you see the oil over here, the jug of oil, and I injure myself. So, and then I, I could end up with a broken leg or a broken foot or whatever it might be because of this. Then the person that actually puts the thing on the floor over here will have to pay the damages at that stage in time. He's going to have to be, he will be culpable within regards to the damages. Say if I injure my toe, injure my knees. I just heard of a person in the army that uh, has been taken out of army service because glass went inside his toe so he can't work he can't actually serve at this critical point in time if say uh, it's the person he injures himself by walking inside the public uh fire there and owner of this card actually put there clumsily the owner is gonna have to pay restitute and the compensation to the person that is injured but we learn another thing in the town today it's talking all about a cud and then at the end of this, uh, the Mishnah is going to relate to it as a chavit, the case scenarios. So what, what's a kad? First of all, kad is like a jug. It's like a small jug. And a chavit could be considered like a barrel, something big, a big container. So it's a small container and big container. So the Talmud also is talking about different containers can be interchangeable. Some people could call it a kad and some people could call it a chavit. But the same din would apply according to today's Gemara. So guys, be careful where you leave your earthenware vessels if you're going to leave it on the floor clumsily there's going to be a consequences if if you're something valuable you're going to put on the floor and someone's going to trip up and break it you know the the, the person that trips on it won't have to be uh uh responsible because you could have a valuable thing this is like 50 shekels or something like that but also you've got to be aware that someone could get injured from it and then you're gonna to have to pay compensation so wishing you all a fantastic day i'd like to dedicate this refresh lima to ruth rachel bat margalit and just much brachot to everybody take care and have a great day